The GeekWire Studios team is back here in Las Vegas for the AWS reInvent conference. Coming up, we'll talk to those on the front line of high performance computing, how instances powered by Intel from AWS are improving compute performance and the bottom line for customers. I'm your host, Steph Strickland. Thanks so much for watching Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire. One of the things that I really appreciate about this conference is the ability to sit down with customers and hear face to face about what are the things that they're, they like, that they'd like to see more of from us, what are the areas that are still areas of friction and are causing them you know, challenges as they try to migrate their high performance computing workloads to the AWS cloud. We've now got the basic performance down where customers can, can perform the compute network and storage that they need for the high performance computing workloads, but how do we make it easier for them from a workflow standpoint to handle migrating those workflows? The most rewarding aspect of my job is seeing customers that are unblocked. That's one of the benefits of the cloud that I don't think we talk enough about is, especially in high performance computing, is we've become just used to this workflow that involves a large queue of work just literally sitting in a queue waiting to be done and so we've delayed researchers we've delayed engineers we've delayed scientists from gaining insight because their jobs are sitting in a queue waiting to be performed with the elasticity of HPC on AWS you virtually eliminate that queue and you can do the work you need to do when you want to get it done and you can drastically cut down your cycle times thereby increasing the innovation in your organization AWS has introduced uh, in conjunction with Intel a number of instances that are really geared to the needs of HPC users uh, the first was the C5 instance based on Skylake processors and the update C5N, which added something called Elastic Fabric Adapter. That's been really important for the HPC community. Um, it's allowing people to take workloads in HPC that, again, are about aggregating uh, resources and building these tightly coupled simulations. But by doing that, you can actually get a quicker answer to a hard problem. And in something like weather forecasting or product design, time to results is critical. That's business value. And now you can scale those workloads whereas you couldn't in the past through Elastic Fabric Adapter. Uh, the Z1D is another uh, new instance type. This one's optimized for performance per core. In high performance computing, a lot of the cost is in the people, of course, and it's in the software licenses. And a lot of software is still licensed per core. So if I can get the most performance per core, I can actually drive my cost per job down. A third instance type that was introduced recently is the high memory instance type, or HM. Uh, that one has extremely large memory. I think it's the highest memory available in any cloud instance, 24 terabytes of memory. That's really well suited for people working with extremely large data sets and are starting to look at the intersection of analytics and machine learning with traditional HPC. One great case study we have and success story is with a company called Astera Labs. They're creating PCI Express Gen 5 chipsets and traditionally this would have meant building a really large infrastructure and doing design, doing validation, verification, and then ultimately taping out a chip. They were able to actually, working with one of our Amazon partners named Six Nines, go from concept to running um, workloads within two weeks because of the compatibility of the things like parallel cluster I mentioned and the capabilities of, of the, the networking and the right instance types. They were able to shorten time to market by 30 to 40% compared to what would have, uh, would have been for a traditional startup. How does the partnership between AWS, Intel, and Six Nines benefit consumers? So the cloud is nebulous, right? There's a lot to figure out. The ecosystem is very large, uh, the service offerings are very large, and we whittle that down into an offering that helps research and development, simulations, and other workloads that are really driving the next generation of products uh, to market. HPC is very infrastructure driven. It's all about fast results, faster time to market. And now that AI and ML is a real thing, all of that code is landing on the HPC infrastructure. So getting answers faster, deriving things faster is what's happening with HPC. And it's really driving a lot of growth and innovation in the market. Partnership is critical. The way cloud evolved was never uh, initially with any HPC workloads in mind. And so the types of instances, the types of services uh, made it almost impossible from a productivity perspective, just getting your workloads running easily uh, from a perspective of achieving performance. Uh, the, the economics didn't work for the HPC community and it's only by having the HPC team at Intel engage with the HPC team at Amazon and jointly bring the information back to our respective cloud teams uh, that we've been able to start to shape the right new instance types, service types and so on. So it's been that collaboration around things like the new instances I mentioned, around the Elastic Fabric Adapter, around Intel MPI, around making sure that the developer tools that exist 
for HPC are available and working in the cloud. And finally, making it possible to have a compatible environment with on-prem available very easily through services like Parallel Cluster and AWS Batch that are making all the difference. One of the areas that Intel has been key to is just their dedication across the board. So it, it's hardware, it's software, it's events like this. It's the ability to really jointly talk to customers about how we can develop the best solution overall for them to meet their demanding workloads. Thank you so much for watching Shift presented by Intel and GeekWire Studios. Be sure to subscribe, like, give us a comment, and we'll see you next year.